Welcome from Mauro, this is Mauro's Films. Starting with the Zoom H1 for weddings. It's a well-designed, compact, powerful and rather cheap recorder that can be used in many ways. The XY configuration mic at the top records stereo audio. At the bottom you will find a one quarter shoe mount for your DSLR or stand. There are three switches, the low cat, the audio gain and the rack formats. At the side we have a 5 volt mini USB port. The power and the hold button. The delete and playing buttons and the volume for the input lever from the microphone. We'll find one AA battery inside, I recommend using rechargeable AA batteries. At the other side is the micro SD card holder. I inserted a 16GB SD card from SanDisk. You will find also the volume rockers for the line out. Holding down the hold button you will power on the zoom. The settings. Switch the recording format to the waveform audio file format. And then with the up and down arrows select the 44 16 kHz bit. You will get a lossless audio that meets all the professional standards for recording audio. You don't want to pick and mess up the audio, so adjust the input level. From my experience, you will be fine from 63 to 70. The 16GB card will give you approximately 25 hours of recording time, so you should be fine for the whole wedding day. The power. With the standard package you don't receive a charger power supply, but if you have an all mini USB charger like I have, the charger outputs 5 volts of power that the Zoom H1 needs, and you are done for the whole night at the reception. For the ceremony I use a JK mic lavalier that I put on the groom connected to the Zoom H1 in the line-in jack. Be sure to use the A3 model because it fits the line-in of the Zoom H1 and Tascam recorders. Bring a 3.5mm extension cable male to male. and a one quarter jack so you can hook up the mixer of the band to your Zoom H1 recorder. Bring a 3.5mm splitter cable if you want to monitor and record internally on your camera. You can bring up a stand for the Zoom H1 so you can record scratch audio the whole day of the wedding. Ok, this is my setup. A Zoom H1, a one quarter stereo plug, and 3.5mm splitter, the 5 volt adapter, the JK mic, the earphones and a 3.5mm male to male cable. Before the ceremony connect to the line in the JK mic lavalier, hide it well, it should be barely visible. Put the Zoom H1 recorder to the groom pocket or jacket or whatever he is wearing to hide it. Before you hit record, look at the meter of the Zoom H1, you don't want to pick and mess up the audio. Before the reception begins, it's great to meet up the band or DJ. Bring all the cable that we mentioned. Introduce yourself to the band and ask them to hook up your Zoom H1 to their mixer or the DJ board. You should be fine with a 3.5mm cable or one quarter adapter. Every board should have one out for monitoring the audio. Test the input to see if you are picking at certain levels. Test the zoom multiple times with some speech at the microphone of the band or DJ because you will not have the time to level it up later when the groom or best man speech or parents are talking. A great idea is to bring an extension power cord with three plugs. And yeah, thanks to my wife for this great drawing. 
Thank you for watching till next time, bye!